What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good week. So it's been some time and I've been watching a lot of ROG Ally reviews and reading a ton of articles about it. And I couldn't be more excited to talk about it since this seems like a very complicated situation given the controversy last week with Asus. But regardless of all of that, this device has a ton of potential. And there are still some mixed reviews and just looking at the comment section, there seems to be a big focus on the recent Asus controversy. And of course the internet is just focused on the mishaps of a company and i'm not saying people are blindly hating on asus this distrust is justified but even before last week's warranty and quality control problems with the company i've had my fair share of misgivings from asus and it's been difficult to recommend this company and its products in full confidence as of the last three to four years so why recommend the asus rog ally now you might be asking yourself well i don't recommend the product mainly because i haven't gotten my hands on it yet but that's pretty much the only reason why I don't recommend it. And after watching and reading so many articles and reviews of the Ally and looking at both the RG Ally and the Steam Deck, as much as someone could while only owning one, during the Steam Deck's first few months, I had some doubts in the software and it wasn't a perfect experience. Even before the Steam Deck's release, Valve as a manufacturer didn't impress me much. I never owned their Index VR headset and wasn't a fan of the Steam controller, machine, or link. So to recommend the Steam Deck before it released wouldn't make any sense given my history with Valve's past products. So now we have the Asus ROG Ally. And looking back at the history I have with Asus about three to four years ago, Asus was my all-time favorite hardware and software manufacturer and developer. I trusted that company with all of my gaming business. I built numerous computers with their motherboards and loved their top-of-the-line gaming laptops. As of the last three to four years, they haven't impressed me much, but I feel the transition to thinner, more portable laptops hurt the company, and that focus on the laptops and even phones made the company's quality and motherboards especially dwindle, to say the least. Right now, I wouldn't recommend Asus's motherboards for obvious reasons, but I would still recommend their laptops and possibly their phones. That leads me to the actual point. Asus is a juggernaut in the gaming PC space. Just a year ago, I wouldn't be able to say the same about Valve, but here we are in a world where Valve had created a reliable and impressive handheld game gaming PC, and some would actually say the Steam Deck seems more reliable than the Asus ROG Ally before the Ally is even officially released. That's the kind of confidence Valve has enabled from their loyal and amazing community. The way I see it, with the Steam Deck's initial promises and previews, everyone was excited to finally have a mainstream Linux-based handheld PC. So they took that excitement and put their faith in Valve, and Valve returned that faith in droves and met all expectations and then some. And the only thing I ask myself is how could a company like Valve actually pull that off? Well, first, they don't overpromise or boast about anything they don't know about. But I think it's mainly the faith that their fans and enthusiasts put in their products to make those promises even more possible. Sometimes as an enthusiast, we need to take risks and chances. And the Steam Deck was a big risk for a lot of people. Instead of buying a Switch, some people opted to buy a Steam Deck instead. That's real faith in a product. Now, given that information in my past with Asus, I honestly feel lucky to have a company with their overall reputation supply their fans fans and potential enthusiasts with yet another mainstream handheld PC not only available in just the market space, but in actual store shelves. This is yet another big leap for handheld gaming PCs, no matter how you look at it. Regarding all the lack of faith from a ton of people who are reacting to the controversy with Asus, I get it. But try to remember what Asus was for a long time before their custom PC parts became third nature to the company. When Asus focuses on a new project, they go all in. Asus may stop giving support for certain products they make, but when they make something, they go 200% into to that product as if it was the only thing they make. And Asus manufactures a lot of different products. If I'm trying to say anything with this video, it's just give Asus another shot. They're a huge company that has a long history, both good and bad, but mostly good. I think comparing their manufacturing history to Valve makes Valve look like a shrimp, but here they are impressing us with the Steam Deck. It's easy to see how well built the Ally is, even only with previews and reviews available. The Ally genuinely looks like a promising hand Held PC. Yes, Windows shouldn't be on a mobile device, like some people say, but it has to start somewhere. And I hear having Windows on the Ally is far more accessible than how it is to have Windows on a device like the One X Player and Aya Neo. So that's a good start. We just have to face the fact that almost everything on Earth runs on Windows. It's the interface we don't want. 
but we unfortunately need most of the time. It sounds really one-sided, but the sooner we just accept it, maybe Windows could actually change for the better someday and optimize its OS to work better with mobile devices. It is, after all, run by people like you and me, as well as Asus. A lot of what the internet presents is kind of ours to preserve or shred. I think we just need to preserve as much as possible and let Microsoft and Asus show us what they can do with a handheld before jumping to conclusions. I'm not saying the Asus ROG Ally will be better than the Steam Deck in terms of user ease or even optimization. I'm saying if there's a chance we should reserve and preserve the good we see in Asus's products and Windows because Windows itself makes a lot possible, even though it can be annoying. I think focusing on the bad kind of makes everyone seem like bitter jerks opposed to enthusiasts. And yes, Windows has janky features, but it also gives us the ability to edit videos, play games, code, and an infinite amount more. It's a little childish, but I'm happy to be realistically excited for a new product. I'm sure what we loved as kids weren't perfect products, we just loved it to love it. But just the idea of going to Best Buy to pick up a new handheld again since the Switch so many years ago genuinely excites me and makes me wonder what's coming next. Asus and Windows made that experience possible. Sure, there's a lot of backlash and negativity about these two companies, but that's just what you get when you're the biggest manufacturer and operating system in the world. And we have both in a tiny handheld. And that fact is mind blowing. And it's almost intimidating to the point most people can't help but think negatively about the product for every little detail like button sticking and minor software glitches that Asus and Windows are fixing every day so far. I made a video stating not to get too excited for the device, but that's genuinely what I meant. To not get too excited to the point of being blinded, but to just make sure you have realistic expectations. And part of those expectations are to be excited. To have a mainstream Windows handheld as well as the reality of having a mainstream Windows handheld. It comes with its gripes and appreciations. And just like with Windows, the reality of having Steam OS and Linux in a handheld isn't that great. But because Valve and Proton worked hand in hand to make the experience for their loyal enthusiasts as smooth as possible, that experience has greatly increased in a long course of many trial and error updates. We as customers and enthusiasts had to sit and wait and experience all these shortcomings as they were patched one by one. It's our job to wait and to have faith in the product. And I'll be 150% honest, there were times I actually threw my Steam Deck and lost all my faith in it. The device broke me at times, sometimes more than Windows. And you can say, maybe you don't know how to do A or B. I'm a software engineer, primarily in Windows. So just like 99% of the Steam Deck's user base, I had to relearn how to use this type of PC. So don't be all high and mighty and say, maybe you don't know how to use it as well as I do because I know how to use computers extremely well and I still had issues just like a lot of people out there. But it's the frequency of how much you use it that determines how many issues you're going to have with any PC. Mistakes will be made and patience will be tested 100 times over. If I can stick to an OS despite its shortcomings and sometimes incomplete nature like with Steam OS, I'm sure waiting on Windows again shouldn't be much of an issue regardless of everything I put up with with that company as a whole. It's just what an enthusiast does and is made for. So for people who are writing off the Ally after just hearing slight negatives about the handheld with usually an overall good review, every device in the world has drawbacks, especially Apple devices. As people in general, we have major drawbacks like impatience, dismissiveness, writing off others. But that's just the set in stone flaws that comes with being a PC and gaming enthusiast and a person in general. A ton of experimental processes that will eventually lead to excellence eventually. As a platform, Windows is still growing. Yes, surprisingly, after all these years, the platform is still growing because we're still growing in general. And if there's any kind of purpose to this video, it's to say, just let the ally grow before prematurely judging it. As a gaming community, patience is something we should be masters at. But more and more, it seems we choose not to do what makes our community great. Have immense patience and hope in a product that could in fact be a dud, but will most likely, and with enough support, be as amazing as we could possibly make it. And I'm sure Asus put out all of those review copies and sponsorships to start their feedback train. And because of that, it seems they're taking this device incredibly seriously. Just by their initial actions, from the start, I can see some good signs that are pointing to a bright future with the Ally, just like with the Switch and Steam Deck. 
And if everybody would be so kind, if you do get the ally, even if it's not perfect, your feedback is needed to help Windows become a well-optimized gaming platform for a handheld market. That's something that the community worked with and worked together to make Linux. Yes, Linux, an optimized gaming platform for a handheld market. I honestly thought that was impossible, but we did it and we already know Windows, so how is this impossible? Sure, we could just jump ship and go straight to Linux, but Windows is important too. Hopefully with enough feedback and collaboration, Asus and Windows can make the ally a good base for Windows to grow as an accessible gaming platform on a handheld device. The Steam Deck showed Windows that PC gamers sometimes like a UI to be simple and to the point, and there's already talk about a mobile version of Windows. We don't always need all the bells and whistles to start a game. Sometimes having those complex features in the background is a good thing, and the Steam Deck showed us exactly that. So yeah, I'm excited for the Asus ROG Ally, but I am also fully expecting a train wreck in terms of software engineering, just like the Steam Deck. But judging by some reviews, the Ally seems a lot easier to dock and play day negative 30 opposed to the Steam Deck day one. Docking the Steam Deck was one of the most difficult things I've ever done with any PC, and it seems like with the ROG Ally, it's easy. To me, that seems like an incredible start. Sure, it can be intimidating that Steam Deck has actual good competition that's coming in just under 30 days, but the two devices are also very different from each other, which is also a great thing. That potentially means I will most likely keep and use both platforms for what each is good at. There's not only room for improvement, but room for two main handheld PCs in the market, just like there's room for three mainstream consoles. But it's only a matter of time, and time will tell if the Ally is actually what all these reviews say it is. I'm fully prepared to use the Steam Deck for slightly longer and easier sessions, and the Ally for its turbo mode for the games that can't run on Steam Deck, and its 1080p 120Hz screen to be 1000% immersed. I'm already figuring they won't have the same functions, and that's a great thing. More variation never hurt any PC gamer. Plus, there's going to be a lot of, let's say, ducks on my ally. You decipher that to what you may. However you want to take it, the ally is coming in fast and in your local Best Buy, depending which country you're in, and it can't get here soon enough. But yeah, those have been my final thoughts on the ROG Ally. For now, I'm just going to sit and wait for the rest of the month and the first half of the next to eventually get my copy. And I hope you guys are excited about it too. But remember, don't be too excited. Otherwise, you're going to get disappointed. That's just how the PC marketplace works. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Later.